Hey, it's Ryan from MuffetSupply.com, and in this video, we're gonna be unboxing a Link LB20 cargo van loading ramp. Let's get into it. All right, this should be a pretty fun unboxing because this is the first time we've done a cargo van ramp for unboxing. And uh, this is how it arrives to you. It is obviously gonna be shipped on a pallet. It's just a pretty big loading ramp right here. It is aluminum, so it's not super heavy, but it is obviously bulky. It comes pre-assembled like this, and it is attached to a pallet. So we're off of our typical workbench for this unboxing. Um, this is manufactured by Link, um, Link Manufacturing, and they are, um, they make a lot of different products. Um, they make ramps, obviously. They also uh, are really big into suspension and some other components as well. We sell a lot of the Link ramps. Um, it's a popular choice for cargo van owners. They make kind of these bifold and trifold ramps that easily mount into either the side door or the rear door on cargo vans. Now this LB20 is actually a new design of this ramp that has a lot of new features and benefits, which we'll talk about in this video. But just real quick, this is how it's going to arrive to you. It's LTL freight carrier, which means it's gonna take a little bit longer than like UPS or FedEx. It's also gonna be a little bit more expensive to ship this just because it's hard to ship something this big. It's gonna come strapped to the pallet. It is fully assembled, so that is really helpful. Now right here on the side, we do have tucked in and attached with a zip tie is all of our mounting hardware. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and we'll get to this here in a moment. Just set it behind. Now the rest of this unboxing is gonna be pretty easy. It's just your typical shipping wrap. Now the LB20 is offered in a few different width and length options. So width, obviously, you're gonna need a cargo van that can accommodate various widths. And then your length is going to be dependent on the height of your van. Because this ramp folds in half, you're gonna need a certain uh, door height at the rear or side door in order to fit these longer ramps because they fold in half. You're gonna need that roof height to accommodate that. Now this particular ramp happens to be the 47 inch wide and the 99 inch long, which will fit nicely in our mid roof transit. I'm gonna be installing this in another video. So if you're interested in how to install these, you should check out this video. Just have a couple of nylon stripping shipping straps right here. Cardboard on top. Now what's great about these ramps is they are aluminum, so they're nice and lightweight, but they also have a very grippy uh, deck plate, if you will. So you're not gonna slip and slide on this if it happens to be raining out or it's wet. That's another benefit of the aluminum. It's not gonna corrode, invite rust, and some of those things as well. Now, a couple of things to point out here before I rotate it. So we do have our handle right here. So this is gonna be for deploying this. Um, obviously, we can give you a full demo once we have it installed, but when you need to pull this out, there's a, a handle right here and there's gonna be some latch points down here to release this ramp. We also have some of our built-in wheels, which is a new addition for the LB20. It used to be an optional upgrade, but now it is included in all of the LB20 ramps. One more thing before we rotate this is we do have our hardware bag right here. So we do have some, some bolts right here for our attaching our mounting plate to the actual van. We also have in here our installation instructions. So, um, they do provide it with the shipment, which is nice. You're not having to scan a QR code or anything like that to try and figure out how to install this. And so, uh, let's see, we've got some illustrated uh, guides, a bunch of caution, text, um, tells you exactly how to install this ramp, where to install it, and things like that. Now, the LB20 ramp is actually designed for the rear cargo door or basically any door where there isn't an inset step. So on the Ford Transit, the Mercedes Sprinter, there is an inset step on the side door. So you're gonna use an LB10 style ramp for those side doors. Now the Ram Promaster does not have an inset step on that side door. So you're also gonna be using an LB20 at the side door. Other than that, all of the cargo vans are using LB20 for that rear door. Now let's go ahead and rotate this around so I can show you some of the features here on the side. Now, as you can see, we have a built-in shock right here or a spring assist to help make uh, deploying and stowing of this ramp super simple. This used to be an optional upgrade that cost a little bit more. Now it's included with all of the ramps. I think there's just two length options that aren't able to accommodate that uh, spring right there, but the rest of them are going to have that spring assist. You can also see our latching mechanism right here. Super simple to undo. It's just kind of like almost a buckle style. 
to attach that and detach it. It's on both sides, so you're gonna have a secure uh, stowing of this ramp. Now, like I mentioned, we also have our wheel here on the side. Again, this used to be an optional upgrade. It's included with all of the ramps now, which makes it super simple. It's a lot easier to get these um, a lot more availability, faster lead times and things like that because of the way that they standardize some of these components. Basically, they all come with the spring, they all come with the uh, wheel kit, and they've narrowed down their size offerings to the most popular so that they can have more on hand and ship to you quicker. Now, with it rotated this way, you can see our caution sticker here with our weight capacity. Most of the ramps have a 1,500 pound weight capacity, which is awesome. I think some of the longer ramps, just because of the length involved, it goes down to 1,000. But for the most part, most of them are gonna be that 1,500 capacity. Now, this is gonna be on the cargo side of the van, so we're gonna be inside the van at this point. You can see down here, we do have our mounting plate, and there is some tread stickers in there, so you're gonna have a nice grip. You're not gonna slip on this threshold onto the ramp which is a great addition here from Link. One thing I like to do in these videos is just take some real world measurements of the product so you can know exactly what you're getting. And like I mentioned at the top, this is a 47 inch wide ramp. So let's take a couple of measurements here just on our width. If I go to the outside of our little rails there, we're actually at 49 and a half inches. And on the inside between the rails, we're at 47 and a half inches. So we advertise it as a 47 inch wide shelf, but you do get that extra half inch in case you need that. Now this is also the 99 inch long uh, ramp, but if we take our measurement of the stowed height, looks like our highest point here is gonna be on the hinge. We are at 55 and a half inches from the mounting plate to the top of our hinge right there. Now that just about does it for the unboxing of this Link LB20 ramp. Now, if you're looking for this or any other equipment to get your van ready for work, be sure to check us out up at supply.com. Okay, my name is Ryan and have a good one.